how are you feeling right now about where the team is and what's ahead of you guys? You know what you have to do to possibly have a chance to get into the postseason. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I feel like the last past couple of weeks, as an offense, we hit our strides. You know, um, early on in the season, we wasn't doing as well. So we just got to keep the momentum and make sure that you know we out there executing. Why do you think that is? Why do you think it took so much time for you guys to kind of start to find that group? I'm um, just really working together. You know, as an offense, um, all those small things, the small penalties or miss assignments, or you know things like that, the small things that you know add up as the game go along. I feel like now, later on in the season, we um, getting those things right. What's this week been like for you guys? I mean, a long, long prep week coming off of a bye week. How challenging is it to, you know, make sure that you're doing everything that you would do on a normal week, even when the process is extended out like this? Yeah, you just got to make sure you're locked in. I think our first practice was um, last Monday, and I'm um, just using that practice to get our feet under us. You know, make sure we're hot and get your, you know, just getting your mind back to football after having that long week. Just before the snap, are there things that you see? I mean, you and Josh said you kind of have to nudge Zach on. Do you honor it and say that out loud? Do you make the calls that way? Or can you feel what's coming out? Um, Zach really is a smart football player, so um, he. From when he first started playing to now, he come along real well. So um, I feel like now we're in a position where we all can talk together as five. So I wouldn't say that we got to help him out, but he a very smart player, so um, he, he usually gets it. Do you think defensive coordinators are going to attack the rookie here? Um, they probably will. You know, they've just been – like my rookie year, I, I'm pretty sure everybody attacked me. So you just got to um, – whenever they, they do attack or whatever, you just got to be ready so they can know, like, you're not going for it, basically. Oh, I'm feeling good. Feel good. Mm-hmm. What's fun about primetime games, Monday night especially? You know, the lights on. I'm um, all your life. Like in co- high school, you had the Friday night lights in college, and now we got the Monday Monday game, so everybody's looking at you. So, um, you know, you just got to up your ante, up the notch, and just go out there and perform. So, do you feel like you've kind of settled into being yourself again in the last maybe month or so? Or how do you kind of think the season has gone for you? Yeah, I feel like in the last month I played well for sure. Um, I feel like it's some more stuff that I can get better at. Obviously, I'm going to take probably the off season or something like that just to, you know, just just to get back in my groove and get better than what I was before the injury. So, um, you yeah, know, but, but to answer your question, the last month I feel like I've been playing well. Was there a moment you kind of realized you, you know, felt kind of back to – you know, Pro Bowl type level that you were uh, that you were at. Um, just just looking at the stats and the games that I built up, I was like, you know, I'm not doing those things that was that was messing my day up. You feel me? I just feel like my feet where they're supposed to be and my mind where, they, where it's supposed to be pre snap. So um, I feel like I'm doing good. Go ahead, Wes. I know we talked so much in the past about your versatility and how that kind of aligns with Zach, but, but considering what he's done with some of these you know, sort of late notice starts, what, what do you just thought of what he's added to your room this year and being able to step up in those situations? Yeah, he added a, a lot, especially coming in, coming in as a rookie, being able to um, play different positions, right tackle, um, left guard, left tackle. You know, I just got to you know give it up to him for doing those things. So, um, but yeah, he added a lot to our room, added versatility, you know, being able to move around and play each position. Is there anything in particular you told him when he had to make a few of those short notice starts? Just go out there and play. Don't think. Um, it's, ma- it's the main thing. Even for us, though, like as starters, you at the end of the day, you just can't go out there and think. Um, you just got to go out there and play, let it loose. And you know he athletic and he he got the ability to be versatile and play different positions. So um, just going out there and just playing his type of game and just playing full speed. What is the uh, current offensive line policy on sleeves or no sleeves when it's really freaking cold? Uh, as a rookie, I was told I can't I can't wear sleeves, and they harped on me that harped on that so much. Um, and now we don't wear sleeves, but on the sideline I do put the jacket on because I want to stay warm. You feel me? I feel like Superman, Batman when you take the cape <laughs> off and then go out there and perform. But um, yeah, we really don't we don't wear sleeves. But me personally, I'm not just don't say no, nah, don't rest sleeves. I want to, I want you to go out there and play. I want you to go out there and be comfortable playing. And if you feel like sleeves is what you know make you comfortable, I'm cool with it. So if David said it was okay, would you wear them? Or I mean, no, I wouldn't wear just, them. I mean, not. yeah, you, I've been. You're a convert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, the last four years, I haven't worn sleeves in a cold game, and I wouldn't because you know the older guys told me not to wear them. So you know. I'm just not. <laughs> so Zach's got no chance. He's yeah, he, yeah. I'm, I'm. If he wears sleeves, I definitely get on him. 
But I wouldn't just, I'm like, if you want to rest sleeves, you can wear them, though. But I get, I get on with just a little bit, though. You have to get your mind mentally right heading into a really close game like that, mind over matter. Um, what's the temp? Supposed to be. 14, I think. Kickoff I don't know if I played in the 14. It was the last like four years, do y'all know? Like oh, well, well, I didn't yeah, play. play. Yeah. I didn't play. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I guess I do got to get my mind right. <laughs> you know, you got to get prepared. And either way I go, you got to go out there. So, you might well not even think about it. That's like one of the last things you really can think about. So, what about the headgear? You wear that thing? Oh, yeah, I'm putting this on. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.